Jimbo's Garage. Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome back to Jimbo's Garage. Well, I recently acquired a new Evolution 15 inch cutoff saw. And what I have is the table or the bed on this saw is about two and three eighths of an inch off my workbench. Uh, the fine slugger that I had was two inches, and that was easy for me to be able to put a two inch piece of square tube on either side to support the material that I put on to keep it perfectly level. Now that this is two and three eighths, I don't have anything like that. I'm going to have to come up with something that's going to get me up two and three eighths of an inch off the ground on both or off the work surface, I should say, um, on both sides of the saw to keep the material uh, nice and flat. Now I'm looking to do that with something that I have here in the shop. So let's see what we can come up with and let's get started in today's video. All right, so here I am over here at the, uh, this, the workstation that I have set up for my cutoff saw. And what I had before was the bed of the table of the slugger was only two inches off of my workbench right here. And that worked out good. A piece of two inch square tubing on both sides and I'm able to lay the material in here and keep everything nice and flat. However, this one is two and three eighths of an inch. Uh, so what I've got right here, I don't know if you can see that, two and three eighths of an inch, that's what it boils down to. So I've got to try to build something that's gonna work on the station that I have right here uh, that's gonna keep the material nice and flat. Now this is really the area that I have. You guys might have something different, um, but this is where this saw lives. This is where it stays. This is where I do most of my, all of my cutting with this saw. And so this is the area that I have to work with. So let's see what we got and let's see if we can make something that's gonna work uh, for my situation. All right, so I was able to find a piece of uh, three inch by three sixteenths angle iron and laying it flat. Um, I was about an eighth of an inch short. So just went over the plasma cutter and I happened to have some uh, eighth of an inch uh, thick cold rolled sheet metal on it. And I thought it'd be a great solution here to just cut a couple pieces out of that. Now you could probably do it a number of different ways, but this is just what I had real quick and I thought it'd be a great way to do it. And uh, once I got them out of the uh, plasma cutter, just uh, knocked off a little bit of dross that was on there. And then just uh, took the angle grinder and uh, ground everything nice and smooth, rounded the edges up a little bit. And then uh, just got it over to the uh, welding table right here. And you can just see I've got this, this jig I'd made for a project a long time ago. And uh, that worked out really good for this situation right here, clamping and holding this piece of angle iron down to this flat uh, sheet metal. All right, so this is the first time I've actually worked with a little bit of arc shots here. I thought uh, I'd give it a try, and uh, this is the first time. You guys uh, tell me what you think. It, uh, you know, a little bit, uh, I still need to refine it a little bit, but, uh, I mean, this gives you a pretty good pretty good view. Maybe a, a camera angle needs to be just a little bit different, but I'll get it all figured out. You guys tell me what you think about that. Maybe we can incorporate that in uh, uh, some of the upcoming videos. I'd like to mention that uh, today's video is brought to you by MetalSupermarkets.com. Uh, they've got over 80 locations across North America, and I know I've got one right down the street from where I am here in Southern California, and I use them for a lot of uh, metal I use here in the shop. Uh, you might want to check them out. They might have a location near you, MetalSupermarkets.com. So basically all I'm doing right here is uh, just putting about four tacks about an inch long, on uh, either side of these two pieces and uh, just hitting it with a wire wheel and that's really all I need. It's going to work out pretty good. Yeah, you can see that right there is it. Everything is nice and flat and level and that's a perfect situation for me. All right, well there it is. Very simple project, uh, but yet a very useful project here in the shop. This is going to be a good uh, good little addition to my, uh, to my uh, table setup over there. <laughs> Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. See you next week. See you next time on Jimbo's Garage.